All right, so let's talk about what's included in this course. So we're going to compare a variety of different muscle solutions, you know, because really, you know, over, over the course of the last 10, 15 years or so, there's been, you know, many different technologies that uh, have been utilized to produce the, the, the visual magic trick as muscles. You know, you can, you can have something as, as, as uh, legacy and has stood the test of time as like, as my C muscle, which, um, that was originally my comet muscle. Uh, and then I, I think it was, you know, absorbed into, uh, Maya through Autodesk. Um, you can have something like Ziva, which, uh, Ziva Dynamics originally from, uh, Weta Digital and then recently bought by, um, Unity. Uh, Ziva used to be something for, um, just bodies. Uh, so, you know, I, I, physical, physically accurate simulations of soft bodies. Uh, and then that applies to, you know, muscles and then full muscle systems. Uh, and then, you know, then they kind of evolved into um, Ziva Runtime or Ziva Realtime Trainer, which is similar to the uh, Unreal um, Machine Learner, uh, sorry, Machine Learning Deformer. Um, and then, you know, from there, they, they also went into, um, Ziva face trainer, which is, um, you know, similar to the runtime trainer, but it's, it's, it's a, a way of producing a, um, uh, great looking facial deformation just from, um, you know, wrapping a known mesh to, uh, their face and then running, uh, their, their cloud-based, uh, system. Um, so, you know, Ziva, Ziva has kind of worked around or migrate around, um, you know, a variety of different areas. So, um, I, I think they are still the highest quality and well used or, or sorry, mostly most used everywhere. Um, however, you know, Houdini is, is coming fast up on, on, on their heels. Um, it's, Houdini, like, you know, over the years, they like side effects has continued to improve their, uh, software, really listening to what artists say, listening, to what companies say, what they want, working with them. And, you know, they're really kind of outpacing, um, these larger corporations like Autodesk. And, uh, it, it's crazy, like in Houdini, um, uh, I'm, I'm actually a fairly new user to Houdini, only having used it in, in like a year and a half or so, uh, and coming from Maya for most of my career, um, we're going to just look at a lot of efficiencies that Houdini has over, uh, Maya. So, you know, if you're, if you're very, if you're used to working in Maya and you don't have a lot of Houdini knowledge, don't worry. We're going to approach this from a, um, a very easy generalized mindset and we're going to talk about everything we're doing um working through uh all the networks and um it's it's crazy there's uh it's like in houdini like i feel like the most commonly used uh realization is like oh there's a node for that there's a sop for that and uh it's it's true it's like there's a lot of complex tools in maya and a lot of other dccs that houdini just has a node for and it's just set up so um <clears throat> Even though Ziva is is very much used throughout uh, the industry right now, um, I think that's just because it was like first to market and um, it, it kind of was absorbed into all the pipelines. However, Houdini is really where muscles are going. It's, uh, you know, whether you're an individual user, whether you're a studio, it's unbelievable the uh just the flexibility that you have within houdini treating everything as you know a um dependency ga graph and uh you know just the proceduralness the farmableness the versatility and all the nodes it's it's not like we're it's not like maya or you know another dcc where stuff is very specific houdini you know if you can wrap your head around it it's 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 um it's quite powerful Okay, so we're going to look at uh, how to create a studio-ready pipeline with little to no coding experience. And the reason why it's, I think it's important to bring this up um, early on is that the previous muscle series that I did uh, was, was very much the same title, but with Ziva Dynamics. So how to create a studio-ready workflow with uh, Ziva Dynamics. And 
it 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 was it it was you know it it did stand the test of time in in a few different you know companies and stuff where where like I integrated it you know it it, I, it was in my personal workflow but my goodness you had like we had the code like you know up to a thousand lines and it um in in that training series you know there's definitely more with with other integrations and things like that but you know we we're we, we were dealing with ioing attribute files you know setting up you know controls like um just writing a ton of code writing this like batch success uh sorry um sequential you know uh gosh um workflow where it was you know importing files assembling files loading weights and like all of this and it's uh you know it, it kind of you're kind of just at the whim of um waiting for it to do like all, like all or nothing or being there and monitoring each part uh you know like every five or so minutes or so and you know we, there's definitely ways that we we talked about you know making things faster uh you know simulating like uh, doing the automatic simulation but one of the best things about Houdini is that you can create amazing workflows and pipelines with almost little to no uh, scripting. So we're talking, you know, small amount of Python, small amount of Vex, HScript, you know, um, which is, you know, natural Houdini uh, language, kind of like Mel for Maya, but, um, you know, HScript and Vex are, are very, very uh, core to Houdini. So, um, you know, even if you don't know any of that, don't worry, we're going to go over everything uh, in the training series. But there is a fraction of the amount of code that we will write. And, you know, for the code that we will write in the series is just to improve the workflow. It's not mandatory for the workflow. Um, and, you know, we're talking man like less than 50 lines more or less so it's uh it's 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 really powerful what you can do with the graphical interface of houdini and i strongly suggest everybody uh start you know investing learning in that um especially with all the machine learning stuff that they have it's 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 crazy um so uh again we're um we're, we're, we're going to be able to create this without having like a, co a, a need for a super developer, super programmer. We're going to be able to do this if we just have general Houdini knowledge or general DC C knowledge, uh, which is going to be great. We're going to create a you know, beginning to end muscle pipeline with the perspective of zero coding experience. Uh, like I said, we're going to write a bit of HScript, Vex, and Python, but 95% of the tra training series will be through Houdini's graphical interface, which is awesome. You know, very, very cool that we just have nodes for these things. Um, so, um, you know, again, no matter your programming experience, we're going to guide you every step of the way. And it, it's, it's, it's really, you know, if you just have, you know, basic, uh, not even linear algebra, but like high school math, add, subtract, you know, you, you can understand this course.